What's up, B2? Capital G here. Got some new Utopia support that just got revealed for Yuma. This is going to be released in something called the Anime Chronicle and the OCG. Now, I'm thinking maybe that translates in the Battles of Legends this year, although I don't really know when Battles of Legends is going to be released. Ever since 2020, things have been kind of wonky with the scheduled releases in the TCG, so we'll just have to see. Anyways, I want to talk about this new Utopia XC monster that has got me very jazzed up and is absolutely excellent in every way as a big fan of utopia um, i'm excited about the lightning overdrive stuff but uh this makes it all the better much better uh this is leo utopia ray it's a light warrior xe monster rank 5 2500 attack 2000 defense and um, that's the same exact stat line and everything from uh, Dragonic Utopia Ray, the cover card of Lightning Overdrive. So that's not really surprising at all. It requires three level five monsters to summon, but nobody ever summons rank five Utopias like that. You just rank up into them. It's pretty easy. Now it says that this name or this card's name is always treated as um, the number C39 uh, Utopia Ray. That's because there are certain Zexal weapons that can only be equipped to that card. So they have to put that on a bunch of the new Utopia monsters. Uh, first effect is really insane. Once per turn, you can detach one material from this card. Equip one Zexal weapon monster from your deck or extra deck to this card as if it was equipped by its own effect. This activation and effect cannot be negated. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen, the sole reason that I fell in love with this card. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, no gamma, no impermanence. You can't use uh, even even those Omni Negates like, uh, you know, Red Eyes, Dark Dragoon, Broiled Savage. Just none of those cards can stop me. Oh, yes, I, I'll definitely take that. Uh, second effect, once per turn, when this card is equipped with a Zexal Weapon Monster, quick effect. You got to love to see that. You can target one effect monster your opponent controls, negate its effects, and if you do, its attack becomes halved that is a permanent debuff by the way like um your, your opponent's effect just never comes back online and they never get the attack by like this card is amazing dude you get double effects that are amazing the first effect to get the zexa weapon your opponent cannot stop um, I'm thinking in most situations, probably 90% of the time, you're going to go for the new uh, ZW Pegasus Twin Saber. That's the one that, if it's equipped, it gives your Utopia monster a 1,000 attack, and you get a monster effect negation. Uh, it doesn't destroy the monster, but you still get to negate one of your opponent's monster effects uh, activations. So, basically... You can easily just summon this card, activate the effect. Your opponent can't negate it in any way. They can't really stop it. Uh, your Utopia will gain a 1,000 attack. You get a free monster negate. And then you get a second disruption because any effect monster your opponent uses or summons, you get to just negate that dude permanently and cut his attack down in half also permanently. I, I think this card is absolutely crazy. The one, the one thing that I kind of question is... I, I feel like this almost, I mean, no, it's not even almost. This just power creeps Dragonic Utopia Ray. Dragonic Utopia Ray, again, is the cover card of Lightning Overdrive. They basically do the same thing. They just put Zexal weapons from the deck or extra deck on your Utopia monster, except this guy doesn't need the battle phase. He just does it instantly by detaching a material, and your opponent can't even stop it. In addition to that, he gets a second disruption, which is a quick effect, which uh, Dragonic Utopia Ray should have been a quick effect, but... For some stupid reason, uh, it wasn't. Some people are saying that you're going to make Leo if you're going first, and you're going to make Dragonic if you're going second. Maybe. I still think Leo's probably better even going second just because your opponent can't negate Leo's effects. Like, they, they just can't stop it. So, <laughs> I mean, Leo just is a nuts card. I think it changes a lot about Utopia and makes the deck significantly better. Uh, uh, next up, we're going to talk about some um, uh, Zex or one Zexo weapon and then one ZS monster. So, we got Zexo weapon, Cyphid, um Siphid Wing, this is a light beast monster, level 4, 800 attack, 1600 defense. You can only control one because I think all Zexal weapons are like that. Uh, you can special summon or you can target one Utopia monster you control. Equip this from your hand or field to that target that or as an equip spell, that target gains uh, 800 attack. Second effect, once per turn, if your opponent special summons a monster or monsters with an activated effect, you can make the equip monster gain 1600 attack. If the equip monster would activate its effect by detaching material, you can send this card to the graveyard instead of one, one of those materials. So that's kind of nice. You don't necessarily have to worry about, you know, running out of materials with the fourth effect. But um, in general, basically all this does is at max, it just gives one of your Utopia monsters 2400 attack, which, 
I mean, it, it could technically make the difference, but honestly, like, I, I just, I think it's going to be hard for anyone to sell me on um, a Zexo weapon that isn't Pegasus, because Pegasus gives you a thousand attack and gives you a monster effect uh, negation. Like, I, I feel like that's pretty much the, <laughs> that's the top of the mountain. Konami's not going to do anything better than that. Unless they put the word negate in the card, like, you're just not going to be able to beat uh, Pegasus Twin Saber. Next up, we have ZS Ouroboro Sage. This is a Dark Warrior, level 3, 600 attack. When this card is normal summoned, you can special summon one non-light number monster from your graveyard, but its effects are negated. And if you do, equip both this and one Utopia monster you control to the summon monster as uh, equip spells that give it each 1700 attack. But you can only declare one attack this turn, so that monster is going to uh, gain 3400 attack. It says, when a monster this card is equipped to by its own effect it, uh, declares an attack on an opponent's monster, you can make the attacking monster gain or the, uh, the attacking monster's current attack doubled, but destroy it during the end phase. Uh, the destruction during the end phase shouldn't really matter because there shouldn't be a Yu-Gi-Oh after the battle phase. You, you're obviously supposed to one-shot your opponent. This essentially is like, um, it's a cheese card. It's like double or nothing, except the, the, the issue that I have with this card is I directly compare it to double or nothing, and I ask myself, which is easier to pull off? Because this requires a non-light number monster in the graveyard. It requires it to be normal summoned, and then it also requires you to already have a Utopia monster on the field. I don't know if you're doing all of that in your first turn. Like, maybe you can, but is all of that easier than just going for double or nothing, which just requires one brick in your deck? Like, I feel like double or nothing is just easier because, yeah, your monster will gain 3,400 attack, and then you get to double it on top of that. But honestly, it's just the fact that it requires your normal. It's just, it's just harder than double or nothing, in my opinion. So I would probably just rather run double or nothing. But if you want to run maximum you know, cheese utopia. Maybe you can definitely consider this, but I, I probably wouldn't. I would just run the double or nothing brick. Uh, finally, we have Zexo Catapult, normal spell with a hard once per turn on both of the effects. Special summon one Zexo weapon or ZS monster from your hand. Um, then, if you control Utopia monster, you can change the level of all face-up monsters you have currently, or you currently control, to four or five. Okay, so making it easier to exceed summon fives, I guess. Uh, second effect, if this card is in your graveyard except the turn it was sent there, you can banish this card and one Zexal weapon or ZS monster from your grave, then target one card your opponent controls, destroy it. That desperately needed to be a, an effect you could use like turn one. To me, that would have probably justified running this card, but I don't think it does because you got to wait a turn for that. To like, it's not even like it's some insane pop. It's just, it's just a pop one. It's, it's not crazy or anything like that. Um, basically, all this card does the turn you activate it is just, it just summons a, a Zexo weapon or a ZS from your hand. And most of the time, you just want to equip ZW's two monsters. Like, you're not really summoning them. You're mainly just equipping them to Utopias for their uh, utility effects. And usually, they add damage. So, I don't know how great that really is. I guess you can exceed with some of them. But, honestly, I think this card's kind of slow um, and unnecessary. If the pop effect could be used to turn you activated it, then I would definitely consider it. But, the fact that it can't makes it uh, kind of a no-go for me. But, even though there are only four cards, Cards and you know most of them are not unbelievable the fact that leo utopia ray is unbelievable kind of makes this a success because leo ray will 100 percent be played in the utopia strategy and i think it's just a better dragonic utopia ray which is sad i mean maybe people will run one copy of dragonic ray but yeah leo's just kind of nuts now i know in the anime uh the card had some ridiculous effect where it lets you attack outside the battle phase we were watching that in my live stream and i i couldn't even believe it <laughs> i was like what the hell yuma literally just cheated to beat tron but obviously they were not going to put that effect like they were not going to put that effect into the card so kind of makes sense but uh that they would give it this type of effect but yeah they kind of power creep the cover card so uh I, I guess congratulations konami anyways whatever you guys think of this utopia support you leave that in the comment section below thank you guys for watching as always